So he, he's excited. Um, he, he's a guy that's boxed as a junior. Uh, I think whoever goes up against him's got his work cut out for him. And Brandon said he'll fight anyone. So being two Townsville guys, we might put Tao Malolo in the ring with him. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been an interesting journey. We went up with uh, Jeff Horn and Tim Zhu in August and Tim showed the world what he's capable of. But we saw a real support for boxing in Townsville and uh, we spoke to the city council and they were keen to see some, some rugby league fights and obviously Junior Paulo and uh, Josh Papali led the way and uh, we're looking just after this season uh, to have a full card of current NRL fighters uh, back up in Townsville. So we'll see what happens with the Rugby League World Cup. Uh, if that proceeds in England, we'll do it just before the players go. Uh, if it doesn't, we might just have to time it so the guys can uh, celebrate grand final, whoever makes that through, and then uh, maybe have half a dozen Rugby League uh, fight cards and then maybe a couple of pro fights on top of it. I've approached as many, many players as I can. Um, I've had a good chat with Jason Taumalolo, Brandon Smith from the Storm, uh, Bradman Best, uh, chasing Dang Gagai, Matt Lodge, Payne Haas. We've, uh, I've harassed a lot of players, but uh, what's been interesting, particularly with what we've seen through Paul Gallen, is there are a lot of players that want to try amateur boxing, which is what this is. This isn't pro boxing to, uh, to get in and go straight in and, and knock guys out. This is about a sprint for three two minute rounds and showcase your ability, showcase your fitness, your ability to not only punch, but not, not to get punched. So, it's, a, it's an opportunity for, for guys to step into the ring, uh, keep their fitness uh, up, which is great, but also there's some, some rugby league players that we might just see echo what Paul Gallen's done and move into to pro boxing. And I know that's something that Junior Paulo has expressed that he wants to do. He's already boxed a couple of times now, so we'll see more and more of this. And, and the good part is the clubs are supportive because they know that the players are gonna be uh, number one, in well respected, looked after, um, and it, it is, it's three two minute rounds, so you're getting in and just going as hard as you can. I, I Instagram messaged Brandon, I uh, gave me his phone number, I called him and he said sign me up, and he was the first contract back. So uh, we've also got to get the Storm obviously to, um, to approve it, so if they end up making the grand final, Brandon's got to do a bit of training leading into the final series, uh, and then he's got 10, 12 days if we do go on that September 16. So he, he's excited. Um, he, he's a guy that's boxed as a junior. Uh, I think whoever goes up against him's got his work cut out for him. And Brandon said he'll fight anyone. So being two Townsville guys, we might put Tao Malolo in the ring with him. But no, look, we'll, we'll try and get another, another hooker or a back row. I'd love to see you know, Reed Marnie from, um, from the Eels if he's interested. Uh, I've approached Victor Radley as well. So it's about getting guys that are similar weights that are gonna put on a good show um, and really show what, what they can do in the ring. And, and boxing's just one of those places. It's not like rugby league, you can't pass the ball, you can't drop behind the line. You know, it's you and one other person, and he's trying to do the exact same thing you're doing, and that's to punch and, and take you down. So it is often a very lonely place to be in a boxing ring, and a lot of rugby league players are about to find out what it's like. Well, I, look, I've, I've flagged it with Andrew uh, Abdo, and the best part with the NRL, and this is what I love about our game, is they've been supportive of it. As long as the players are insured, um, any money they make is registered as a third-party agreement, so we're not you know, piggybacking off the club's effort. So we d do the right process by the NRL, and they've been supportive. And I, I think, again, it just shows where our game's heading under the leadership of Peter Volandes and Andrew Abdo and the commission that we've got. I'm excited to be part of this and hence you tie in the NRL expansion um, as well as boxing. Who knows where rugby league's going to be in the next 20 years and it just goes to show if you, you get the right people leading the game, we've got an amazing fan base and we've got some, some great young men and women involved. Uh, it's just a privilege to do this journey and, and be part of, part of their journey and hopefully we see some more Paul Gallen-esque boxing episodes come out.